Why do you think it's not a question of morals? If, if these were human children, would you think it was a question of, of morals? Yeah. So what's, what makes this different? Why are the animals not worthy of moral consideration? Um, conscience. So conscience? Yeah. Like consciousness? No, conscience. Conscience. The, yeah. the animals don't have a conscience or we don't have a conscience of what we do don't animals. have a conscience. Okay. Do you have evidence for that claim? Um, well, if, if they had, were able to manipulate their surroundings other than themselves, then... Mm -hmm. So there have been actually a series of studies on rats that demonstrate that rats oh, yeah, will rats are free other rats from their cages rather than get food yeah. and they'll demonstrate morally virtuous behaviour. But let's just say animals don't have a conscience. Would that make it okay? If we found a human that didn't have a what? conscience, would it make that okay what to What if these them? practices were different? Different how? Uh, humane by humane. your eyes. So, that the big, so your biggest objection is the is the way that the, the, the production is that right? No. So our our thinking here is that there is no humane way to kill an animal needlessly that doesn't want to die. No. So, what would be your definition of the word humane? Uh, probably short. Short. Instantaneous. Instantaneous. So if I killed you instantaneously right now, would that be okay? Well, that's silly. Silly? Yeah. yeah. What's different about that situation? That against would be the, the, law. the law. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So this is all legal, right? But do you think that legality necessarily is the same as morality? Is yes. what's legal what's right? Yes, because we are dictated by law. Okay, so we are we dictated, dictated by, by it. law, then it would be completely different. But it's the same, same argument with alcoholism. Mm -hmm. So, alcohol is legal. It is. Does it, does it damage? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's detrimental to society. So, by that logic, what's legal isn't necessarily what's best. Correct. Right. So, there are a lot of things that have been legal throughout history that we would consider now to be morally abhorrent. So, it, it's. Would you agree that it takes some time for the law to catch up with our ethical standards? Uh, yes. Yeah. And they change as well. So this isn't even a, a, an issue of law, right? Because we don't need laws to abolish this form of injustice. We are paying for this three times a day. When we go into the supermarket, we pay for this to happen. So we don't need it to become illegal. We can just stop paying for it and it'll stop happening. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, that's one way to look at it, yeah. Yeah. So what, what is your moral justification for eating, purchasing animal products? What, is, what do you mean? When you go into the supermarket and you have a um, plant-based sausage or an animal sausage, what makes you opt for the animal sausage rather than the plant one? Do you have any questions? I don't eat sausages. You don't eat sausages? Anything. No. There's all sorts um, of vegan options like, out there. Is there a... Um, I'm just trying to show what happens I don't know. I'm trying to think of a... I don't really have an answer to that. Okay, that's okay. I mean, most of us, we just do it because we've been brought up that way, because it's a big part of, you know, the way we've been raised and our culture and things like that. It's, it just becomes normalized, right? It's a very normal thing to eat animals. Um, but at one time, it was normal to be racist, homophobic, all those sorts of things, you know, human injustices. Correct, not long ago. Not long ago, and we've seen enormous change in those regards. Um, so, what would be stopping you from treating these animals with moral respect? But they wouldn't exist then. Yeah, so these animals here aren't naturally occurring animals, so we're breeding them into existence to kill them. Correct. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So if we if the if we stop buying it, supply and demand will go down, and we don't have to breed these animals into existence anymore. We'll have more yeah, land that's, and resources that's, that's true. to take care Why? of our species. What's wrong with breeding them? Breeding them. So if I was if I was breeding human babies into the world just to use their body parts to take their milk to you know take their periods and and to you know feed off them. 
that would be considered wrong, right? We're bringing them into the world. Yeah, and I don't. I don't it's think close. it's. Uh, I don't think it's right to compare human in any sort of argument. Mm -hmm. What about dogs? Do you believe that dogs deserve more consideration? Um, dogs are a, a delicacy in some. They are absolutely, absolutely, they are. Well, what, what do you mean, deserve what? So, if I were to be in the street here kicking a dog, yeah, people would intervene, right? Yeah, that's would right. you intervene in that situation? Yeah, of course. So, so yeah. again, you're referring to the treatment of the animals. So no, I'm referring to the exploitation of the animals. Yeah, I guess or exploitation of the animals. Yes. yes. But if there's no exploitation, then. What's the, what's wrong there if there's no exploita exploitation? No exploitation is good, that's what we want. But if we're breeding animals into the world and taking their bodies and enslaving yeah, them and trapping them... But, but that's the purpose of production. Let's just take a real simple example, a cow. The cow doesn't have a life. Unless, unless it's what there. do you mean a cow doesn't have a life? It won't have its life because it's, its purpose is to be bred, is to be fed, is to be looked after, right. is to be loved. And that's and what we're saying is wrong. If, if their whole life has been reduced to feeding our pleasure, then that's not fair, right? We have all these other alternatives. We have other ways to live and we're taking their whole life away from them. We, we eat those animal products in like 15 minutes and forget about it. But that animal has lost their whole entire life. Yeah, but they, but yeah, that's yeah, that's what I don't get because like the animal doesn't have a conscience, right? So it doesn't know where. I feel them understand, but well, again, they don't know where they don't know where they're heading, what their life uh, is comprised of. Do you think so, that we should only extend compassion or respect, dignity to beings that have a conscience? Because there are, there are, and I know you don't like the human comparison, but there are people, humans, who don't have a conscience, who are, you know, don't have that capacity for empathy, who do bad things and feel nothing. Mm. But that doesn't make it okay for me to stab them in the throat, does it? Right. So then, why are you using that as a justification for killing animals? Because it's we're talking about instant, and that's the it's like it's the oh, what if I live on a self-managed farm, and that is my life. That is, I live off the land, and that is part of my land. It's part of my livelihood. I earn money. Australia, sorry, since colonisation, Australia has been built on farming. So but pre pre, pre that it, they didn't, but since that they have. But we can earn money in in all sorts of ways. You know, I could earn yeah, money by is, taking that woman's wallet and running off with it. That doesn't make it a correct act. Correct, but we're so blessed in a country that is um, a, 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 available for farming. Mm -hmm. That that is just it. That's out. That's the product that Australia has used. Also, you need to be careful. There's a few things on there that aren't Australian footage. I guarantee you, everything here is Australian footage. This well, is all something that I'd seen before, and it was um, shipping, not uh, like a, a non-Australian um, shipping. You mean like live export? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So what you said just previously to that. Um, it, I understand why we feel we feel grateful that we've built our economy with these animals as a part of it, right? And we feel privileged to be where we're at now. But right now, we have the option to not do this anymore. And our economic, you know, we, that's not a, a reason to continue doing it. We can make money in other ways, we can farm in other ways, we can move towards more sustainable, more ethical practices. Um, and it feels like it's kind of just an appeal to saying like, that's how it's always been. So that's how it should always be, but we can change it. Yeah. What about making uh, better practices? Making do, you, better practices. do you agree with pill testing? Pill testing on humans? No, no pill testing. I'll talk about uh, festival pill testing. Festival pill testing. I don't really want to get into that kind of area right now. Okay, so in comparing that scenario to this, which isn't as far-fetched, you've got the government that is fixing a problem and trying to make a problem better, not trying to eradicate a problem. So it's the same thing. Okay, here. so you're there's saying... 
to fix a problem. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So, it, so by that analogy, it would be like reducing harm but not eliminating it. No, no, eliminating harm through better practices. Practices. How can you kill without harm? It can never be completely eradicated that harm if we're still taking their lives. But, but you're def you're defining that harm. That's the issue. How? What? Yeah, so how come you? can define that as harm. Because so where, do, where does that stem from? Harm, to me, implies suffering, right? Yeah, so if it, what and if there's no suffering? That's, that's what I'm saying. But there, Practices. there's the suffering, suffering. There's a few different types of suffering, right? So there's, there's pain. We could eliminate pain. We could just, like, you know, have a pain-free yeah. magical death, which I guarantee doesn't exist yeah, in any yeah, of these yeah, forms. Yeah, yeah. No, but if we that. could eradicate pain, that still wouldn't eradicate suffering. Because, Why was that? because we are exploiting them, we're enslaving them, we're not allowing them to you, live that's the way that they're intended. But your, your, um, that's your perception of their environment, right? So, which is very true, but again, if you can advocate better practices, that line of thinking turns things into not harmful and not enslaving because that's in the word enslaving and harmful is dictated by your perception. That's that's got that's gotta be fair. I, I would say that that's an objective truth. Exactly. Because we are taking from them their bodies, right? Even if we do that in a different environment in a different way it's always going to be enslavement they cannot consent to that they don't choose to live this life they would rather live in a did, different way did you choose to live your life i didn't no but i choose now to live i want to live in the same way these animals want to live and if someone were to take my life away from me even if they did it by do you think if an animal said please don't take my life that there would be a change? Well, they do. They scream. They they ask us, not in English, yeah, they so ask you, us not to You take them. away the scream, you take away any bad practice, which is, to be honest, Australia is so much better than the rest of the, rest of the world as far as... And uh, yet, this is still what it looks like. It's better, but it's all still morally abhorrent. Yeah. yeah, no, I would definitely, I'll definitely agree with that. And I don't think that even if we had these animals living in rainbow fields and getting sung lullabies to death, that would make it okay for us to steal their bodies, to take their babies, to artificially inseminate them, to exploit them for years and years until we take their lives, you know? Yeah, I, like I, I get that, but, you, but it's your opinion of exploitation, that's what you've got to be careful of. Well, what I about would, your I would opinion? differentiate between what you view as exploitation and harmful and really focus on practices because practices you can have monumental governmental change but trying to stop something completely is, See, we is don't, a bit different we don't need governmental change we don't well, need do, to wait for this got, to end it's a consumer got, issue so as soon as we stop buying never, it no you got liberal issues will never ever 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 maybe hundreds and hundreds of years i don't agree change. i don't agree these these companies these and these farms they're doing it because there's a profit, right? If the profit is removed, they're not going to do it anymore, are they? So the power is in our hands. We don't have to wait for the government. We don't have to induce this kind of, you know, very careful change and like pass these little tiny laws. We can stop it. We can say, I don't agree with that. I'm not paying for it. And therefore there's no profit for it and they don't do it anymore. Yeah, it's, oh, I just, it's, I, I, I appreciate, but the, the uphill battle with trying to go from A to Z without going through the middle part. Do you think that people thought that about abolishing slavery or legalizing same-sex marriage? That it was just too big, too hard, too enormous? No, oh, no. Same-sex marriage is always going to happen. Not always. Go back even a hundred years in, in history, you know, it was considered... 40 years. 40 years, okay, even more recently, people 
were being really violently hurt because of their sexuality and now out of obviously it's not perfect but we've changed we've completely changed our culture we've changed our laws and what makes you think that this problem we can't change this is too big but that wasn't yes but this isn't going isn't seen as a problem right right That's and neither was abolishing slavery it was it was just so no normal. it was it was though and it was seen, seen as a problem it just, but at one point if we go back far enough slavery was so normalized that it wasn't even a question should we abolish it or not and that's what we've done with these animals we've victimized them to the point where we don't even really consider them victims we just don't think about it we think it's fine it's normal it's a fine line when things become opinion based so this and is all that's objectively that's actually, happening that actually goes the same with same sex marriage when uh, Everyone, although it's in a better position now for you with social media. Right, and this, right. And hopefully he's taking some good photos. Well, when we were talking before about if I was kicking a dog in the street, you said people would intervene, right? Yeah. So if people see this happening, they see these animals being treated this way, being exploited, being abused, and having their lives taken away from them, when they see that, what makes you think that they then won't want to intervene? No, no, I, I, I think they would. I, I right. Think, yeah. And, and even if we but don't again, think that... Again, it's all about practices. But like how... All this, all, it's all about practice. How can you... If you were to kill me right now, how would you do it in a way that is moral, that is right, that well, is you ethical? Can't, you, can't use, you can't use human... A dog. How would you kill a dog that didn't need to die for no reason? You just wanted to do it for fun. Yeah, but, but they, every, every animal is serving a purpose for food. A dog's not serving a purpose for food. But they could be. Like you said, in some countries they eat dogs. Yeah, and But so the point is that we don't need to eat them. We have other things that we can eat and live and thrive off. Yeah, but again, it was about kicking a dog in a street and whether or not that was harmful. Or... Right. So, do you believe that we need to eat animal products to survive? No, of course not. No? So then, the reasons why we're doing it are for things like taste, like sensory pleasure, enjoyment, you know, habit, things like that. Convenience. Right. So, if it was more convenient for me to walk into somebody rather than around them, like, you know, it's just, it's not a good reason. Like, it's, it's, it's what's easy, but would you agree that it's not what's right? Uh, no, no, I can't, I, I can't agree. Okay. So if you were in a supermarket and you had a non-dairy milk right there, where the cows didn't have to be forcibly impregnated, have their babies stolen, be killed, and we had a dairy milk, they're right next to each other. How would you justify taking the dairy milk instead of the non-dairy milk when you have them both right there, just as easy? Um, well, I've spent time on a farm and milked cows and mm -hmm. drunk really bitter milk. And yeah. I drink soy milk now anyway. Awesome, awesome. So you've been on a farm, right? Yeah. You know that cows have to be pregnant to produce milk, okay? Hey? Yeah? So they're like us. Would it be right for someone to artificially impregnate me and hold me down in a cage and put their hand up me and put semen in there while I'm trying to get away just so that they can have milk from me? That's, that's not a practice for extracting milk. That's a, that's a practice for extracting milk. It, that, it is a practice for extracting you, milk you know, because we can't get milk without them but having you know a baby. What the cows do, right? You know, they could be kilometers away. When they're full, they go to get absolutely, milk. Absolutely, absolutely. I don't go. deny that. But the reason why they're full of milk is because we are forcibly impregnating them. And then we take their babies away from them who would ordinarily be drinking the milk. So that milk is meant for them, right? Not for us. So why are we. Why are we breeding them? Why are we in, in artificially in, inseminating them when we sure? can just blend need, up yeah, some soy milk? Don't need, cows don't need to be pregnant to be to lactate. Milk. Absolutely. Why else would they produce milk? Uh, Herefords and dairy. I don't, I don't think they do. Are so, you sure? 
Absolutely. I used to think that dairy cow meant that there was a breed of cow that just produces milk. But that milk is the perfect concoction for their baby. They have to be pregnant and then when they give birth, the baby wants to drink the milk, right? They have that maternal bond and we take the baby away from the mother just so that we can drink the milk. And this is all, this information is all readily available. You know, you can go on even industry websites, they'll tell you how to artificially in inseminate a cow, how to take their babies away. And for what? For what reason? <laughs> Do you think if you were in control of these machines, if you were the one putting baby chicks through to get ground up in a blender, that you would feel uncomfortable doing that? Right now, yes, if I was born into it, you know. Right, yeah. but that's just uh, desensitization, wouldn't you agree? Yes. So right now, with your current values that you hold, you would feel uncomfortable pushing those buttons and doing that to them? Uh, that particular one, yeah, of course. Right. So if we feel uncomfortable doing it ourselves, why do we then pay someone else to do it for us? Isn't that morally the same? No, not when you can choose free range products. This is free range. All of this is free range. So those male chicks have to be killed because they can't produce eggs. Even in free range eggs, they'll all have to be killed. And when their egg production declines, they'll have to be killed also. Yeah, so they've been alive for a day. Yeah, those, so they've been the alive life, for one so day. So life didn't matter, they wouldn't have been born at all. Would you say that about a newborn baby? Oh, you gotta go to the babies! You gotta go to the babies! Okay, I won't go to the babies. I'll just ask you, what makes a one day old life worth taking that a three year old life isn't? Um, economics, that's... Economics. Yeah, but do you that think is. that morality should be defined by money? No, but it's dangerous for morality to be defined by individuals. Okay, but your individual morality, you just said, is to be uncomfortable with that. So why is your individual action of buying these products not aligned with your individual well, morality? I I don't know, I'd have to be put in a situation. You know, I'm probably a bad, bad example because I'm a bit of a robot. Yeah. Well, we're not in these situations, right? We're not in these situations where we are holding knives and we have cows in front of us. But if I were to pay a hitman to do a, a murder for me, the blood is still on my hands, right? We are in this situation three times a day where we can choose to pay for this or we can choose to pay for something that comes from plants. where we can guarantee there is no harm. Or even if there is harm, it's accidental harm. You know, there's some little bits of harm that comes from plant farming, but to the best of our knowledge, to the best of our ability, we've done as much as we can to eradicate it. What about people that uh, can't afford plant products? So plant products, whole food plant products, are almost always cheaper than animal products. So we can buy dairy, eggs, meat, those things aren't cheap. Or we can buy beans, potatoes, rice, oats. Those things are the cheapest things in the supermarket. They're the cheapest and they're also the most ethical. So what is it, what do you feel is the biggest, the biggest obstacle for you for choosing plant products over animal products? Uh, no. I'm not really sure what would be the obstacle. Right. Well, in 2020, it's, it's incredibly easy. It's most of the time just a matter of moving our hand to a different brand. You know, one brand of ice cream will be vegan and one won't. And our conversation before, earlier, you were trying to find ways that we could make it better, right? Like we could get these laws in place, we could reduce the harm, right? 
And when you're standing in front of those ice creams, the vegan and the non-vegan, you have that option right there in front of you to choose less harm. So would well, you take a, that that's option? A, uh, that's a taste issue. Uh, but should, there's a lot of taste issues. Would you agree that taste is a sensory pleasure? Uh, most, oh, most of the time. Most of the time? Most of the time. So someone who gets pleasure from rape, does that justify it? Can't use human examples. Can't use human examples? Okay, what if I went home and shoved my fist inside of my cat? If that felt good to me, would that make it okay? Because that's, it's fun? That's animal abuse and that's illegal. This is animal abuse? If it was, is it, not? it would be illegal. If it was animal abuse, it would be illegal, you think? Correct. So everything you're seeing here is legal. And can you really look at that and say it's not animal abuse? Uh, some of it, some of it's not abuse. Like those chickens, it's not abuse. Those chickens going into a, yeah. a giant blender no, is not yeah. abuse. No. They're dying like that. Are they? Can you can you prove that that they're Did dying you have, instantaneously? You have a look? <laughs> Nothing is getting through. Well, what makes that right? What makes it okay to instantaneously murder if when it we? If it's if there's something wrong with it then it needs to be changed legally. But we don't need to wait for it to change legally. If there's no, something do, wrong with you it... you do, because if, if, if there's nothing wrong with it, then there's nothing wrong with it. But if it's illegal, it's illegal. The whole idea of, you know, abusing an animal, kicking a dog, punching a, a cat, that's animal abuse. If that was animal abuse, it would be illegal, illegal they'd be shut down. There's plenty of vision for it. If there's enough enough stuff there, then you, there's enough power to, to shut industry uh, individual so, practices down. Like you mentioned earlier with the money thing, the economics argument, that's the reason why this stuff is legal. Apart from our palate pleasure, there's um, all this economic incentive for the government to not shut this down, right? But we as individuals can shut it down. We can stop it. So, who cares if it's legal or not legal? If it were legal to rape, I still wouldn't rape. Would you? Yeah, we're going around in circles with human, human contact. Anyway, we gotta go. Um, Anna's coming back in about an hour or so. Okay, well, I really appreciate the conversation. Yeah, no What's your name? Adam. Adam, great talking to you. Emmy. Emmy. Have a nice day.